we're in a restaurant and then you're also doing education, like yeah. recruiting. It's just like yeah. a lot of different industries. Like Josh was saying earlier, you it seems like you have your hands in a lot of different things. Like how do you do all these different things and how do you uh, – like where does all this passion come from for these different industries? Do they connect at all? Yeah. I mean, besides the potato chip thing, but like – You know, you know yeah. um, uh, one of my one of my uh, mentors, and when I say mentor, doesn't mean I actually know these people, right? Some of my mentors I've never met in my life. I read their book or listened to their audios over and over and over again. Uh, like a guy named Art Williams, who my children call Uncle Art, who I've never met. He's eighty something years old, mm-hmm. and uh, but I listen to him. I can repeat this thing verbatim, and um, he said, if you can create a business in an essential area, right? You think, well, what are essential? So I was in clothing, tailoring, and things. It's clothing is an essential area. People are always mm-hmm. gonna need. Clothing, um, a restaurant business, food is an essential area. People always will need that. Education. I mean, last I checked, everyone child has to go to school somewhere yeah. or they'll lock you up. <laughs> right. So it's, so it's an essential. Like it's when, when, when COVID hit, right, the essential workers were able to go out and work. Right. So educational school teachers, nurses, they were able to go out and work. You had to. Right. Mm-hmm. So I wanted to create businesses in essential areas. So um, even in our uh, think about it in our. My insurance business, uh, like insurance is very, very important. I mean, you have a car, the law says you have to have car what? Car insurance. insurance, right? Yeah. You know, when, you know, people are going to die. It's just a thing. So life insurance is always going to be needed. If you buy a home, you got to have homeowners what? Insurance. insurance, right? So, you know, these are essential things that I, you know, I wanted to be a part of. And so I can always make sure that we can have a steady income. And you never know what your children are going to want to do. So I didn't want to be the guy that says, okay, I'm a construction guy. Mm-hmm. And now my sons are going to be construction guys. Because so what happens if your son doesn't want a construction guy, right? No, mm-hmm. but if we have a construction company, a transportation company, insurance company, restaurant business, education business, one of those things the children might say, hey, I want to take that and run with it. And I truly believe that my future or my business's future is going to be better because my children will be better than I am. I mean, I'm teaching them right now. You got to be better than dad, right? So I hold on them so hard because you got to be better than me, right? They didn't have the grit or determination I had to have from growing up how I grew mm-hmm. up. They got a little bit easier. So I got to hold it on them a different way just so they can become tougher so they can be better, you know, than dad was. 